everyone, welcome. So today I would like to talk about talking about a product recommendation. So what is a recommendation? So you have to promote your product to your customers. So you have to analyze the behavior of your customers. So if have the same behavior for the uh, uh, product perch, so can they you can make some recommendation to your customers. So that's why our course will focus the product recommendation, 产品的推荐. So first, uh, we have to import the required uh, package pandas. And then uh, you have to go to your working directory. So here I'm showing to go to your working directory. So since my working directory is on Python machine learning, this folder, so again, okay, open it. So you here you may, uh, so you, here you may uh, have your source code, which I have provided in our island systems. So this one. Okay, product recommendation, this, okay, and then you have to import the data set. So the data set is online retail data set from England, uh, from UK. Uh, since my data set is in this folder, DS data, these folders, so I change my working directory as ds working directory if you don't have the uh, same directory as uh, with your source code you have to change the working directory if they are in the same directory so it's fine otherwise you have to put the pass the files pass in your source code so here right now i am in my working directory with my uh, online retail file, so it's okay. Okay, so let's now uh, to import the data set. So since this re uh, online retail file is uh, Excel format, uh, Excel the this so we use the pandas function with re Excel function so and save the data frame as original df using these variables okay so let us to import the excel file which is online retail so since it is a, a excel file it may take some time to import your data set so you may see here the red line is still on. So right now is importing your data set. It may take uh, some time to import your data set. Since de this data set is more than, let me see, 50. Uh, okay, okay, right now it's okay. Uh, so we go to the variable explorer, this tab. So you may find a name uh, with original DF, which we I just import. So how many records for this data set? It's 500, okay, 541,000. 五十四万多笔的资料, okay, it's much, uh, the data is uh, much bigger than us before. The column is on the A columns. Okay, so we save the original data set. Save this original data set uh, with DF, another data frame. Okay, so this uh, is the same data set. Okay, so we have to check the columns for this data set by df.columns. So you may see 
the eight variable names for your data set. Okay, so uh, this online retail data set, you may find the description for this. You may find this data set is from UCI data set. Okay, so you may find the abstract. Okay, Zai Ya. Okay, this is a traditional data set, which contains all transactions. Okay, so it contains uh, transactions. So it be, uh, the period for the transaction is from uh, 2010, okay, uh, 2010. All the way to 2011, so it's more uh, close, uh, maybe mm, almost two years. So the transaction for uh, non store online retail, oh, okay, it's an online retail data. So we, you may find how many instances here, numbers of instances. Uh, 500, 500 is more than 500,000 The attributes on the A attributes they don't uh, missing value don't know the name don't know okay so we have to uh, find out the attribute information so for the A columns okay so let us go back to our source code. So I have some description uh, in my source code. Okay. The first, so since we have uh, import the data set, so you may take a look at. Okay, so since there are only A columns for our data set, so you can have uh, O, A, Columns. So for the first columns, we call uh, invoice number. So in Chinese, we call the fa piao. Okay, the num the number for uh, invoice. Okay, so it's a six digital number. Okay, with the digital uh, digital numbers. So it's numericals. Okay, so for the second column name is we call stock code, it's product code, 产品的编号. It's five digital numbers. For the third column uh, is description, so it's the name for the product in English. Okay, for the quantity is a 数量, okay, the quantity for each transaction. And the day for the invoice, with the day and with the time. And for the five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, so six, six columns, we is the unit price, we call Danjia, unit price for each product. And also we keep the customer ID with the five digital numbers. Okay, the customer ID. And the uh, country for the customers. So if you may find United Kingdom, you may find it's from France. So the customer where the com uh, the country he live, she or she live. Okay. So we know the the introduction for these A variables. So let me check it again. So invoice number we call fa-piao, uh, fa-piao the bian hao. Stock code, product code, stock code, okay, item code. It's five digital numbers. So for the invoice number is uh, six digital numbers. The description, description is the product name in English. Quantity, so the uh, okay the quantity for each product for per transaction maybe the uh is numerical invoice date 
发票的日期。OK， with the day and the time for the transaction. Unit price. OK, unit price for each product. 它是以英镑 pound. OK. Uh, so for the last two is the customer ID. Customer ID, the customer number. It's five digital numbers. Country, for the country name, for your customer uh, belong to. Okay, since we have our DF ready, so we have to show the first five rows for our uh, data set here. What is the dimension? What is the shape for the data set? Okay, 541,000, okay, multiple by 8, only 8 variables. Okay, so you can use this index. So, so you can use the quali uh, quality, quantity to show the description for these variables. So you may see here the quantity we call su liang. So you mean the minimum quantity is minus, the maximum is the same, right? But the mean is only 9.5. So the quantity is the su liang but what is the minus mean? Minus mean is cancel. So your customer cancel these orders so it will be uh, minus okay so you get the the product back okay so how do we to check the quantity less than zero so you may check if it is the quantity is less than zero it means minus okay so we use this one. So here to check all the quality, quantity, value for each, for each one. And then to make a decision, does the quantity is less or equal than zero? Please comment. So you may find if the numbers here is six, right? Is is not less or equal than zero. So the statements for the judge is false, right? False. So if the quantity is minus, it should be indicate as a true statements. 假如符合的话，它就是一个true，真的啊，这个呃状态 statements. Okay, so also we can select the data with the following instructions. So we use this one, LOC, so you can memorize as a location. Please show me the location and with this condition. With this condition is to show the quantity is less than zero. Please show me the content. Okay, so it will show all the content for you. So here you may find there are uh, 10,000, okay, 一万笔的资料, 10,624 items. The quantity is less than zero. So here is not easy to find because it omits some data. So as you my you you can exercise these comments by copy and go to your your working files we use the QQ equal to this one. We save the result as a QQ data frame. So you may find this one here. So what did we do? For these instructions, 
So we filter the quantity is less than zero. So you may find here all the quantities for the retrieve data is less than zero. Can I make those full soup minus? So you can click here to 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 sort the quantity uh, with a big to small or small to big biggest one. So you may find all the quantity here for QQ, the quantity is less than zero, is minus. Oh, full soup. Okay, so you can use this instruction or you can use this instruction, it's the same. So we use location or we, uh, or maybe we put the statements in the index. So we have to check this one. You have to just run this part of the instructions. So you get the false and true statements for each column. And it will retrieve with the true statements, not false statements. Okay, so here you get the, the same result as the previous one. Also, you can to practice to copy this instruction with your exercise file. So I save with a QQ01. Two different comments but have the same result. So you may find the QQ and the QQ01 is the same. All the quantity quantity is less than zero. 数量都是小于零的. Okay, so here I want to select the data with quantity bigger than zero. So, so you may find it. Most of the data, the quantity is bigger than zero. And also you can to show the result with your exercise QQ03 plus okay, to retrieve the quality is bigger, uh, bigger than, bigger than zero, QQ3. Okay, so you can might find here the quality the minimum quality is one, the maximum is this one. Eighty thousand Bawan to be the studio. Okay, so here is the process to use the location to filter the data uh, we want. So we use the Quality, the quantity is bigger than zero to, to field the data. Okay, so here you may find the data. It or originally uh, it should be this one. And we fill out the quantity is less than zero. So we get uh, these records. So how many data we have filled out? More than uh, 10,000 data we omit, we delete. So we delete 10,624 rows from the original one because the quality is less than zero because this is a cancel did sell the product because it canceled the, your customer cancel the orders okay so please exercise all the materials I have uh, teach
okay it's my our first sections for this class